What's up Sanctuary and YouTube, Boar Theory here. Welcome to today's guide, focused on one of the more popular 85 zones in Diablo 2 Resurrected, the Chaos Sanctuary in Act 4. What makes Chaos Sanctuary super interesting is that there are different ways that you can farm this area, and I'm going to showcase two different mechanical ways to do this in today's demonstration and review. The Chaos Sanctuary is a personal favorite of mine for three primary use cases. The first of which is the overall general density, which is inclusive of elite and champ packs, in addition to three super unique seal pop bosses and the Lord of Terror himself, Diablo. The Chaos Sanctuary is also an amazing area to farm for high runes, not only because of the general density, but because storm casters are plentiful in this zone, which are a classification of ghost. We're also going to tease what's called the seal pop trick in today's guide. It's important to call out that the Chaos Sanctuary is an extremely difficult area to farm, so make sure that you are at a sufficient level and well geared if you are going to attempt this area and navigate it safely and with efficiency. Let's jump in to Chaos Sanctuary. The beauty of Chaos Sanctuary is its general accessibility even for relatively low mobility characters as the River of Flame Waypoint and Bridge North are straightforward to navigate to the entrance. This zone includes a monster variety of Stormcasters, Oblivion plus Doom Knights, and Venom Lords. Overall, this is an elite area for Hammeredons, Fist of the Heaven Paladins, Elemental Druids, and Lightning Sorks and Javazons can also navigate this area as long as they have Infinity Mercenaries. While a Blizzard Sorcerers can make quick work of Chaos, you must be wary of Oblivion Knights. They are cold immune and can cast numerous curses such as Amplify Damage, Decrepify, Lower Resist, Weaken, and Life Tap. I mentioned different strategies to take full advantage of Chaos Sanctuary. In this chapter, I will showcase hunting for elite packs and clearing the seal bosses through Diablo. Outside of prioritizing Magic Find, Chaos Sanctuary is one of the best areas to maximize experience, which is why some folks like to start from the entrance. An important callout in Chaos is that Diablo, Infector, Lord Desace, and Vizier cannot drop all items in the game due to their treasure class restrictions. Therefore, it is precious to hunt elite enchant packs as their treasure classes are upgraded to 87, enabling them to drop all unique items in the game. For example, two years ago I found Ethereal's Might off one of the packs which otherwise would not have dropped off any of the aforementioned Super Uniques or the Lord of Terror. Regarding general layout, Chaos Sanctuary takes the form of a cross with the initial beltway heading north into the center star with the top three wings heading into five total seals and three Super Unique seal bosses. Chaos generally is a static layout with only two spawn options, but the fundamental west, north, and east seal mechanics remain consistent. Every player has general preferences for which wing to hit first, but I like to head west to Grand Vizier of Chaos. Grand Vizier of Chaos is a super unique stormcaster that always spawns extra strong and fire enchanted. He is a monster level 88 with a treasure class of 78, and he is eligible to drop champ. Vizier spawns with 11 minions on the seal pop, but they are relatively easy to clear. Heading east, Infector of Souls is a super unique Venom Lord that always spawns extra fast with Spectral Hit. He is also monster level 88, treasure class of 78, and can drop champ. Similar to Vizier, he spawns with 11 minions. Lastly, heading north, Lord to Sea spawns extra song and aura enchanted with fanaticism and always is cold immune. Like his super unique counterparts, he shares the same monster, treasure, and rune drop fundamentals. Deceased always spawns with 7 minions. Something to call out in Diablo 2 Resurrected is the new dangerous spawn mechanic on the seal pop. If you happen to see a red ball of flame on your screen, they will spawn close to you, so be extremely careful, especially in hardcore. If you don't see the red ball, then Lord Deceased and his brethren will spawn in the standard drop zone, like in Lord of Destruction. Once all five seals are open and seal bosses are eliminated, the screen turns red and you head to the center pentagram star to face Diablo. The Lord of Terror is a monster level 94 with a treasure class of 84 and he can drop up to Zod Rune. Diablo is also the only monster in the game that drops the Burning Essence of Terror, which is one of the four inputs required to roll a token of absolution. Now, let's transition into speed chaos gameplay and mechanics. One of the key strategies for navigating chaos quickly and efficiently is speed or taxi chaosing. This is an effective farming method, especially for cold sorks, which enables them to avoid oblivion knights focusing purely on the super unique seal bosses and Diablo. The combination of seal kill speed and run count over time will directly contribute to acquiring better loot more swiftly. The primary reason to focus on speed is to take advantage of the seal pop trick mechanic to acquire additional loot. This trick is often overlooked or unknown to many 
many Diablo players. Speed seal popping does require teleport to pull this off properly. Let's review a few of the fundamentals critical to this approach. First, Magic Find has zero influence on loot drops from the active monsters. Drops are triggered by the natural RNG of no drop chances, making player count significantly affect this mechanic. Remember that runes are directly influenced by player count and not magic find, making this trick appealing for high rune hunting and chaos primarily due to storm caster densities. Next is the concept of the activation period. Monsters become active or loot eligible when you are within two screens of them, and when you then become outside this range, mobs remain active for approximately 7 to 8 seconds. As a quick tip, you can also drop a town portal near a large group of elite packs which keeps them linked as active. How this ultimately works is deciding whether to leave a single seal unopened in the west at Vizier or east at Infector. It is truly a personal choice as either option works effectively as long as you have sufficient faster cast rate speed. When ready, teleport in a relative U-shape, quickly heading down the beltway to the entrance and double back, navigating to the unopened seal and immediately smashing. The final pop triggers a universal slam, killing all remaining active monsters in Chaos Sanctuary. After killing Diablo, teleport to check out your drops, hoping to see your favorite orange color on the ground. Sanctuary, you made it. Thanks for tuning in. Before you go, smash that like and subscribe button to continue supporting content development on my channel. If you want to join the Horde and I in the next time I broadcast live on Twitch, feel free to drop a follow linked below. Stay safe, keep grinding, and see Bispock and Parabellum. If you want peace, prepare for War Theory.